Nigila on the play. And then we also got to say another five color deck. You know, a tournament favorite it usually does a really good job, right, of just being a good toolbox commander. And uh, we're actually seeing two toolbox commanders in this game. We have both the Kenny and the Sisse here. It's turn one Soul Ring for the Kenrith player. We have turn one basically. It is not a great start. No follow up, no zero cost artifacts, MC3. What I'm thinking about here is that what kind of hand did fervent keep where they were able to pitch two lands maybe they're feeling a little mana flooded here yeah like you said they may just be flooded Ooh, a skirt by the kenrith here that is very scary that is a piece of a combo is it actually reduced the cost of reanimating your dock side because you could do sack your dock side to make that one red oh how do you feel about imperial seal here i personally don't like it in decks that don't have a way to rip the card off pretty much immediately. The snap coming down early, okay. And getting rid of Narset. For a time, I was looking at Narset to build because I really like her ability, but I did find that was a weakness of the deck, that you have to play Narset and pass, and there's so much creature removal in decks right now that Passing and hoping to untap isn't enough in most situations. I wonder what's being played here. White, white, black, mana. Oh, oh. 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 It looks like there might be an interaction piece. Mana here. drain. Seems to be a counter war between Lotus the two players. Was crack. Veil of Summer, okay. This is a lot of interaction coming around. But the Najila player needs it because you have Druid's Repository, Grim Hireling. This deck is so much more relying on that Najila combo potential. Flashback the Faceless Looting. Now you draw cards. Now you get to fill your bin with something you may want to cast. When every graveyard is your playground, it feels good. If you can present a win here, now that kind of shields are down, could see it end right here. Is that a Grand Abolisher on their field, right? See, the only thing that stops the Grand Abolisher here, though, is a hard counter spell. So they would need a Force of Will or Pact. Yeah, so it got Force of Will, Savines, and... Uh, it was Druid's Repository. This might just become a punt, right? Because they just gave them also a free... And I mean a free... Intuition. What is this? Worldly Tutor? Worldly Tutor, yeah. Oh! Swan Song and Respawn. Oh, thank gosh, thank gosh. Woo. That was just GG if that resolved. <laughs> Most likely, yes. They are opting just to put a counter on Kenrith, making it a 6-6 six -six for the time being. It's a big boy, you know? Yeah, what are you gonna do? Kenrith beats, that might be the backup plan here, because again, missing another land drop and just forced to pass the turn. And we come back to Narset's turn. Fervent yeah, Mastery. mastery. Uh, okay. You search your library for up to three cards, put them into your hand, then shuffle card, discard three cards at random. So essentially, it's tutor for three, discard three. If you're on the breach plan, it's basically search for three cards out here with your breach for five mana. It's it's Red's tutor, which is actually not bad. In this, I mean, it, in this deck, it's really good. Final chance, win the game here. Like, you, you never know. Oh, okay. Here's a counter spell. Narset has been left alone. The Lightning Greaves hasn't even been touched, and Intuition is still in that bin. As well as Sabine's, right? So if they have a spell to cast here, I think they're looking pretty, pretty, pretty here. So, curious to see how this will result. Because I think the system player does need to do something. They need to slow down the game, because they need time to develop. If I was the Sisse player, I probably would have waited a turn. I would have just passed. It's an instant speed. You don't need to be using it as sorcery here, right? And then you wait to see how Najila attacks the Fervent, brings him down low enough, and then fire a Covenant. I think that's with the the best play. Yeah, I agree. I find that very unlikely that they don't win if they untap here. Yeah, we may see the Narsa. We may see it. Best these five color decks. I did not expect the Narset player to untap like they did. I thought they were dead to rights. I thought they presented enough threats where you had to kill them. You couldn't let them untap. 
much uh, like four mana to play with right now casting the final fortune here looking to win here at this point it's the piece that you kind of have to be able to interact with but there isn't much they did swing for the intuition they have every piece they could probably want in their bin currently silence in hand plus a final fortune currently right yeah see casting that final fortune here final fortunes resolving untapping I think this is Narset because Narset now gets to go mm -hmm. into their turn. Oh, silence. Oh. This is a one piece that feasibly could have stopped them. So they're just letting the silence resolve. Oh. oh. Kenny did have it all along. Okay. So they're just dead. Mm -hmm. So the game goes on. I did not expect to see the other players get to untap as we move to the Sisei's turn. Using one of the treasure. If it's Aminati, that would be really good. It's a Healy, oh. okay. So, okay. That so what is scary. No, this is very scary, because what Sisei can do here is copy the dark side, get the Aminati. Do they have enough? Because then you can... Because I don't think, I think you make four, right? That's what we established. Yes, right? so you'll go up to yeah. seven mana. Seven, five for an activation gets you Aminat two. You make four more, you go up to six. To seven six. again, right? Because five brings you, oh yeah, because you go down yes. two and then four. So yeah. six. you play Nico Bolas, you can down tick Nico Bolas. You get an, you get just enough to get Aminat two. I think they may win here. Yeah. I think they have just enough to assemble the Nico Bulls Aminatu combo. So casting Dragon God, this is just GG here if no one has anything. It presents an interaction point for counter magic though, so if yeah. there's anything, we could see it here. Which we know that no player has anything, so. Well, we can uh, suspect, yeah. There's Booty just talking about, uh, you know, how to win. Yeah, just demonstrating the combo. Uh, Sissy go burr, Sahili go burr. Everyone take one until you're dead. <laughs> yeah, player scooping it up. GG. Congratulations. Yeah, oh, this is Booty Slayer. Booty yeah. Slayer took the W. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed and you aren't subscribed yet, go ahead and go down and give that subscribe button a click. And if you happen to have a few extra dollars that you want to toss our way to support what we're doing and also get access to the Chaos League, you can join and become one of our patrons. We really could not do this without all of your support. So thank you to every one of our patrons. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time.